Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Stock Market with your daily analysis for the S&P 500 for the trading session date of Thursday 27th of September. I'm recording this video quarter to 7 in the evening New York time on Thursday New York time. I still have quite a few charts to get through so I shall be brief with each. This is our first daily wave count which still has about an even probability with our second daily wave count. For both our first and second wave counts you will find monthly charts linked to again in today's text analysis. The first one requires new all-time highs. For this first daily wave count I have two interpretations of this piece of movement here. This first chart expects an extending third wave with an extending third wave within it which is actually pretty common. At 1508 5 green will reach a quality in length with 1 green, sorry with 3 green. Any further downwards movement of 4 green can't move into 1 green price territory. Movement below 1426.68 would invalidate this first chart and confirm the next one which is the alternate. Draw this trend channel around upwards movement from 1 to 3 with a copy on 2. We have a fourth wave overshoot. For this wave count, I'd be expecting a fifth wave overshoot on the opposite side. Let's have a look at the next interpretation. If 3 blue, instead of being extended, was over here, then the downwards movement is still a fourth wave, but it's 2 degrees higher. The channel is slightly different from 1 to 3 and a copy on 2, a tiny overshoot here for the fourth wave, nice support here, the fifth wave would probably end about the upper edge of this channel. The fifth wave would still be quite long in duration, it, I would expect it's going to be extended like this one here and we should see all the subdivisions. At 1614 wave 5 blue would reach 1.618 the length of wave 1 blue. 7 points below that at 1607 C black in its entirety would, would reach a quality with A black. For this one, here's an important price point. If we were to see any continuation sideways and lower of wave 4 blue, it can't move into wave 1 blue price territory below 1380.39. This price point is our indicator for a big trend change. Let's have a look at this movement for the fourth wave correction on the hourly chart where this high, whether it be 3 blue or 3 green, is this point up here. It's most likely that the fourth wave was a double zigzag and it's over. To the upside, the subdivisions here are 5, 3, 5, 3. For this wave count, we need a 5 up to complete an impulse. At 1455, wave 5 purple will reach a quality in length with 1 purple. Movement above 1452.06 would give us confidence in the short term target and that we're in a new uptrend for the final fifth wave, whatever degree it may be, towards at least 1508. Tomorrow I am expecting price to begin with upwards movement to about the short term target, there's no Fibonacci ratio between waves 3 and 1 purple, so I would expect to see a ratio exhibited for 5 purple to either 1 or 3, and equality with 1 is the most common. When the next little piece of upwards movement's over early in tomorrow's session, look out for a second wave correction. It could be deep. It's probably going to find support at the lower edge of this green parallel channel or the blue parallel channel so draw them both on daily charts and copy them over to hourly charts. Two orange can't move beyond the start of one. This wave count is invalidated with movement below 1430.53. Alternatively if wave four whether it be blue or green degree is unfolding as a single zigzag then this last C wave downwards is an incomplete impulse. At this stage now, the subdivisions here also fit. 5, 3, 5 is how a zigzag subdivides. 
The problem with this alternate is this piece of movement. The alternate has to see it as a 5, as it has a slight truncation, reducing the probability that the wave count is correct. To the upside, if 4 purple moves any higher, it can't move into wave 1 purple price territory above 1452.06. That's why movement above this price point can give us a bit more confidence that the fourth wave correction is over down here, as per the main hourly chart. For this one, if we do see downwards movement starting in tomorrow's session, then 5 purple will reach 0 0.618, the length of 3 purple, at 1430. That would bring price just a little bit below the end of wave 3 purple at 1430.53, avoiding the rear truncation. Here's our second chart which differs its cycle degree. It's expecting still probably more upwards movement to complete a triple zigzag for a primary wave B within a flat correction for a cycle wave A. To the short to mid term, the upwards movement expectation and the short to mid term target is exactly the same. For this interpretation, we'd be looking out for one fourth wave correction still to come before the final upwards wave. This target, 1513, is where C blue will reach 1.618, the length of A blue. And after that, movement below 1380.39 would give us strong indication of a sizable trend change. Alternatively, if 3 pink was over here and it's not extending, then it is still possible that we have an end to upwards movement. I publish this daily chart only to indicate this possibility. We should always assume the trend remains the same until proven otherwise, and at this stage we have absolutely no confirmation of a trend change. I just want to be aware of this possibility. It would be invalidated, obviously, with any movement above 1474.51. It needs to see at least a 5 down on the hourly chart. We don't even have that yet. If price continues on lower quite strongly tomorrow, then this will be a slightly more likely probability. But we need to see price move below 1380.39 before we can have any confidence whatsoever in a sizable trend change. Quite a few charts there, but the expectation for direction tomorrow and the short to midterm target, 1508 at least, is pretty much the same. I am expecting tomorrow price to begin with upwards movement to complete a low degree 5 wave impulse upwards after that, look out for a second wave correction. Use the trend channels that I've drawn on the daily chart. The lower edge may provide support for downwards movement. After that, look out for an increase in upwards momentum, perhaps during Monday's session as a third wave unfolds upwards. That's all for me today with your S&P analysis, and I hope that members are all looking forward to an awesome weekend.